Well, Andrew, welcome, and uh, it's the start of a big week at Vizzy Park, the Carlton Footy Club. Let's um, start off, though, with not all the good news, but the from an injury front, uh, Michael Jamison last week, uh, back injury. He's going to be out for a little while. How's he progressing? Yeah, Jamo, as you know, he's got stress reaction in the back. Uh, he's going pretty well. Uh, it feels probably better than it should, really, um, and that was the, the whole... I suppose problem to start with it actually felt all right and probably felt a lot better than stress reactions are meant to feel. So uh, he's going, he's progressing along nicely. So he'll be back in in uh, four or five weeks, um, which will give him a couple of games before round one. And a couple of games before round one's probably what a lot of guys do now, isn't it? That's right. I mean, um, yeah. Speak to a lot of the players, both at Carlton and other clubs, and they really, most of them say they need you know two two and a half games. Um, before they get into the real, into the real home and away season, so it'll be a good lead-in for Jamo still. Uh, Sam Rowe, another one, new player of the club from Norwood, uh, South Australian, I might add. Um, how's he going? Uh, he had the AC, I think it was. Yeah, he just uh, sprained his AC from a tackle at training um, a couple of weeks ago, but he's going well. He's going very well. Still, the good thing about that is he's been able to keep his fitness up because he can still use his legs really well. Um, he'll be back uh, in a couple of weeks. He'll probably play the second round of the NAB Cup. Um, so obviously not at the practice game this week, but certainly progressing well. You'd be disappointed he can't go to Adelaide, that first round of the NAB Cup. <laughs> yeah, well, that's right, all the Adelaide boys love to go home, and uh, I think he, he's certainly putting his hand up, and uh, fitness-wise he actually could play, but uh, we're just being a bit more cautious, especially this time of year. Speaking of Adelaide boys, another one who'll probably miss out on returning home, another Norwood, ex-Norwood boys, ex-teammate, uh, Nick Dygan. How's Nick going the knee? Yeah, he's going well, Dygs. Um, as you know, Dygs' personality, we need to hold him back as much as we can. Uh, he's a bit of a bull at a gate, so uh, he's progressing along nicely. Apparently, he says it's feeling great. So, um, you know, we just he just needs to bide his time a little bit, Dogs. And as you said, you know, he, he would have loved a trip back to Adelaide too, but he won't be going back yeah. there either. Maggie, just just on those, particularly those two, and, and Jammer, I guess as well. If you're going to get an injury, it's probably been a good time, if that makes sense. Yeah, that's right. I mean, that's. As you say, it's almost the, the upside of getting an injury is that it's this time of year. So you, they can get all their um, rehab and recovery done before the games start. Still have a, you know two or three games before the season starts. And funnily enough, they actually will probably be really fresh in the brain and fresh in the yeah. in the legs. So uh, you know, we'd, hopefully it won't stifle them at all during the season. That's good. A uh, busy man, of course, phone doesn't stop yeah. here. Uh, one who's not so lucky won't be playing round one, Luke Mitchell. Um, he's... Had a real wretched run of injuries, uh, but I've seen him around the club. Yeah, Luke's uh, obviously still coming along with his shoulder. Uh, had the reconstruction done a few weeks ago. He's on track, though. It's going well. Um, early days, of course, but he's, he's on track and looking to come back, you know, round eight-ish, somewhere like that, ready to play. Yep. So, yeah, nothing's changed there. And I guess looking at... We've heard about weight... Um, Juddy, etc. What about Robbie Warnock? I know he had a couple of, uh, I think both shoulders, if I'm right, uh, done post-season last year. How's Rob Warnock coming along? Yeah, he's going pretty well. Obviously, uh, having two shoulders done is a pretty decent whack in the pre-season. He's managed to keep pretty fit and he's back out on the track doing the uh, skill drills with everyone. Obviously not doing too much contact at this stage. Um, but he's doing the skill stuff, which means he's using his legs well, kicking well. Um, so that's all going OK. It's just going to be a few more weeks before he starts doing the tackling and yep. getting tackled, but um, he's progressing OK. Excellent. Now, we've spoken about a few guys who won't be playing on uh, Friday in the intra-club match, which is going to be a beauty at 9.30 here at Vizzy Park. Uh, Judd's probably another one, Wait and a few others. What about some of the guys, particularly, I guess, first-year players, a couple of first-year players that will be in action on uh, Friday for Carlton supporters to have a look at? Yeah, you've got the likes of, you know, young Fraser Dale, um, I suppose, yeah, Josh Bootsma will be playing, I think. Um, certainly um, Dylan Buckley will play, yeah. so it'll be exciting to see uh, the father-son roll out in the in the navy blue. Um, for all those people that saw Jimmy play, it'd be uh, nice to see young Bucks play. But, yeah. uh, so that's exciting. We're also you know, really looking forward to seeing the development in the second year and third year players. Yep. You know, people like Paddy McCarthy, uh, Andrew McGuinness, that type, even even third year is like Zach Tui, the the Irishman, and see how he's progressing. He obviously had it took a couple of really big steps last year. Yep. We're expecting him to improve a lot again this year, so it'll be interesting to see how he uh, performs on on Friday morning. Well, it's a big week for supporters. Uh, Friday morning, the intra club match. Of course, uh, that's the only one we get before the NAB Cup in Adelaide the following week, and of course back here on Sunday. Now, I know Macca, you as a player here. You love family days. All the supporters get down. It, it's good for the players too, and supporters love it. Yeah, that's right. It's a fantastic day for the supporters. They can mix with the players and 
the kids can get the autographs and the big kids can get the autographs too. So um, yeah, it's always a, a great day for everyone involved. So yeah, it kicks off here at 11 o'clock at Vizzy Park and the guys will be situated around the ground, plenty of opportunity to, to mix with the fans and then be presented on the stage around 1.30. So uh, yeah, it should be a good day. Should be great, and we might get the CFC TV uh, cameras on you during the day just to see if there's any uh, Andy McKay autograph signed during the family day, Maka. <laughs> Don't hold your breath. <laughs> Thanks for your time. Thanks, Keith.